If you guys give me the next 10 minutes of your time, I'm going to show you guys how you can get small payouts like these consistently by using ChatGPT to essentially just generate images and 3D models, and then uploading those 3D models and having multiple downloads, and basically use AI tools to get people to pay you every single month like this user here. In today's online tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually make money selling simple models like these. And of course, you don't even have to actually create these models. I'm going to show you guys how you can set up an easy passive income source how you can actually make these models within the next five minutes and everything you need to do to get started. So if you don't know, Colts is basically a website that allows you to sell 3D products. And these 3D models slash 3D products aren't the traditional kind because these ones have a really low barrier to entry because you can see that all of these 3D models aren't really hard to make. Some of them I are pretty hard if they're like, for example, things that are like shelves and stuff like that. But the standard ones, like for example, this, like this little object right here, or for example, this statue of a classic Luigi, those ones are a lot easier to make. So that's why this is going to essentially show you guys how you can do this easily yourself. So this is going to be something that is really simple to do, even for beginners. Now, with this website, you can't make a ridiculous amount of money, but it is a decent side hustle for those of you who want to partake in this. So for example, you can see that like, you know, if you're selling something like this Luigi right here, it's only, you know, nine uh, euros or whatever. And of course, the website is going to take its cut. So that is going to be something that is, of course, going to, you know, make you understand that like the majority of things on this website aren't like, you know, a hundred, two hundred dollars. They're mainly like two dollars or so. So it's not like a crazy, crazy amount. I'm not even sure why um, the kind of, you know, currency change, but that's beside the point. The point is, is that you can actually start this as a beginner and start making money. So basically how you make money is of course you basically, of course, upload your 3D models. And I'm going to show you guys how you can instantly generate 3D models that are ready for this website and that comply with all the restrictions. So you can see right here that it says publish your 3D models and share them for free or get paid. If you choose the paid option, you'll receive 80% of the net selling price. And if you publish your free 3D models, simply select the Creative Commons license. So of course, most beginners might be wondering, okay, how much am I really going to be making here? You can see that it gives you a breakdown right here. It's 80%. So Colt takes 15% and then the bank takes you know, 5%. So that's how it works. There's no like subscription fee to sign up for. There's nothing that you need to do in order to start making money. As soon as you make your account, you can simply add a 3D model. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can do this. So right here, of course, you can see I can add my 3D model. But of course, we need to first get a 3D model. Now, firstly, I'm going to walk you guys through the ideation of what you want to do, because most people are just going to go ahead and create a bunch of different, you know, useless 3D models that nobody wants. But what I would do is I would create a 3D model that most people would want. Now, let's look, of course, what I can create a 3D model of, because I think this is going to be something that most people would want anyways. And that's going to be a 3D model of the very famous Mu Deng. And I'm going to show you guys how I can make this model and then start selling it on this website. Now, if you don't know who Mu Deng is. Mu Deng is basically a viral hippo, okay? She's even got like a cryptocurrency. Uh, it's pretty insane, okay? So the point I'm trying to make to you guys is you might be thinking, okay, why on earth are you talking about Mu Deng? This is a video about how to sell 3D models. Just let me get to it, okay? So this is something that is really popular and it's something that is really popular in terms of pop culture right now. It's trending right now. And with that, what we can do is we can basically get an image of Mu Deng. So let's say, for example, we can get an image of Mu Deng PNG. Hopefully we can get that um, PNG transparent. And basically the reason we want this is because we want to convert an image of Mu Deng. And then basically we want to use that image to create a 3D model. You can see some people have already started to make some of these. So of course, they're probably going to be a little bit further ahead. But what I can do is I can just basically make an image that's on like ChatGPT and just ask for a transparent image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Since I can't find one on Google, I'm going to just try and say, let me see if I can, let me see if I can just make one really quickly. So this image doesn't really look like Mu Deng that much, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this now and I'm going to just basically save this image. So I'm going to save this one and then I'm going to show you guys how I can turn this into a 3D model that's ready to start selling on the website. So I'm going to save this. Then what you can do is you can come over to this website. Now, this website is a website that can generate 3D models instantly. It allows you to generate a bunch of different 3D models 
and it allows you to export them in the correct file. Now with this, you can of course change the settings, you can change the negative prompts, you know, here, all that crazy stuff. But what you wanna do is you just basically want to add your image right here. So with my image, what I'm gonna add is I can either add my image or I can either describe it. When you're describing it, it's going to come up with a bunch of different stuff that is pretty similar, but you can basically create one or you can simply use an image that is going to create the 3D model. That's why I created an image in the first place. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image. So now I've got my image of Mu Deng there. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And then all I have to do now is wait around two to three seconds, not two to three seconds. So I think this takes around 60 seconds. So one minute to two minute. What happens now is that the AI uh, system and this website, I can't believe I didn't even say, is called Tripo 3D AI. This is basically where you can generate models. And it's actually really good because they managed to make a website where they've generated their version two. So version two is literally just released. So these 3D models are really, really good. And if you go on to the pricing for this, uh, you do get free credits. So even if you start and you're thinking, okay, I don't have enough money, you get free credits, guys. So you can actually use this website to get free credits. And uh, all you have to do is just make an account, okay? So you get 24 models every single month. You can pay for, you know, an, an extended membership, but it's completely up to you. It's really not that expensive, but you get a lot of free models. So now you can see there, my model has finished generating. Basically, if I want, I can click, if I don't like this and there's some glitches when generating this free model, I can basically click free retry. And what that's going to do is that's just going to retry the model again, because sometimes issues may occur. Um, the, the legs might be a bit weird. You know, the, the hands might be a bit weird. Something might be a bit weird. Um, and basically, the model is essentially now done. So once my model has been generated, I just simply click full screen here and you can see that I can see the model in a lot more detail. And this is really nice. Now, what I need to do here is I need to now export this model and make sure that this works. So the format that I want, okay, is I want the STL file because the STL file is going to be the file that allows you to print this model. Now, I don't think this looks like Mudeng that much. Of course, you could have done a better job than I could have. I'm just, you know, doing this for the video. But essentially what we want to do now is we want to download this in the STL format because that's the format that we need for Colts 3D models because that's how people are going to print this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to click download. This will take five credits. So just make sure you watch your credit balance up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just download this. So it now converts the mesh. It gives me a couple seconds and I just click download and it'll prompt up with a box and I'm just going to download this. Now I'm also just going to have an OBJ just in case because OBJ file, sometimes people want that. So I'm going to download the OBJ just as well. But with the OBJ file, I'm going to go ahead and save that in a different folder. So make sure that you download that as well. So I'm going to click download as well. You don't really need this, but just in case um, for any purposes, you might just need this. So I'm just and basically with this, what this allows you to do is this is essentially a version that is quite cool because this allows you to retain the textures. So now that I've got my model here, everything looks pretty good. It looks pretty high quality. I'm going to go back over to Colt's 3D, 3D website. And I'm basically going to show you guys how you can actually sell this model. Okay. Um, and of course you can, you know, you didn't need to use an image, but the reason I used an image is so that you have more controllability of what you know, models you get. So here you can say it shows you that, you know, you need STL CAD 3MF. Of course, you can have the, basically the more file formats you have, the better it is because when people are wanting it, they, they basically want to be able to use it for many different use cases. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to upload these. And of course, here is where we have a lot of stuff. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and just drop the files in here. So this is where we got the Mudang STL. So I've named it Mudang STL. So that way people know. So I've uploaded that. Of course, you can see they've got many different, you know, different file sizes. You can also upload the zip. I'd recommend once again, when you download the OBJ file, it's going to give you a zip. Just upload that zip file because that is easier for people to have the OBJ and the texture file as well. So I'm going to upload that. You can see I've got the zip file. So I'm just going to click this zip and then I'm just going to click upload. And then you can see that is now uploading. Then of course, of course, I've got these photos right here. So I can use these photos to basically, you know, brand the thing. Of course, I'm just gonna, you know, upload the image that I just had from ChatGPT. So this is the image right here. I'm just gonna save this. In fact, I already did save it. So I just need to upload this image now. So you can see I've managed to upload that image right there. And then of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Mu, Mu, oh, okay, I can't even spell. Mu Deng 3D model for printing. Um, And there we go. And then I'm gonna put my 3D model description. Of course, you could have, you know, a better description here. So of course, 3D printing settings. This is stuff that, you know, if you are someone that is, you know, familiar with 3D printing, this is where you'd of course include more details. It's completely up to you what you wanna put in here. This is usually for people that have models that they've already 
printed or you know they've already used and they've already verified so this is something that you can have here if there's any issues as well with your model you can always uh you know reconvert them or just get someone to fix the models there are plenty of online conversions sometimes you know it might say that your mesh is a little bit this or a little bit that there's plenty of online services that allow you to lower your polygon count if your polygon count is too high so it's really easy to do that just in case what you can do is you can click retopologize here and of course you can see if you click this retopologize button it will show you the low poly count versus the high poly count button so it's up to you so if you want this to be super high quality click the 3000 one or if you want it to be super low if the website wants a super low one you just click super low right there and that's where you get you know 5000 polygons so it's completely up to you on what the website says. so then of course here we would just put this in uh, various because it's not a game it's just like you know popular uh, so let's just do um I think this is animals, so I'm guessing that this would be nature, but I don't see nature here. So the keywords, I'm going to put Mudeng, and then of course I need to fill in this field. So for the 3D model description, I could literally just, uh, you know, use ChatGPT to write it. So I'm going to say, I've turned the first image into a 3D model for selling on cults.com. Give me a description of the model. I've got an STL file and a zip file containing the OBJ and materials slash textures then i'm going to say um i need this to post slash sell the product so there we go um there we go it's going to give us all of the details that we need right now so it's just gonna you know i'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds and then once it gives me this i'm going to be able to just simply paste this in and let's see okay so here we can see all of this stuff so let me just copy all of this just gonna copy that so now you can see i can put that in there you can see adorable baby hippo yada 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 let's just hit enter on these ones so just hit enter there, hit enter there, hit enter there. It shows you what's included. Just keep hitting enter, just space out all this stuff because it's just uh, a lot a lot, basic, lot easier. And I'm just going to release this for free because I don't, I don't want to sell this. People can have this for free. I mean, I just literally just made it. So um, there, of course, you can see. And of course, I'm going to just put adorable baby Higma Mudeng or I could just put Mudeng. I mean, I mean, the title doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we click next. So this is where you can basically, of course, set your price. So for example, if you want this to be, you know, a uh, dollar, two dollars, you can see right here, I could set this for two dollars. So you can see if I set this for two dollars, the commission is going to be forty dollars. That's what the website goes. That's what the website gets for the revenue per sale. I'm going to get a dollar sixty. Like I said before, this website is just merely a side hustle. You're not going to make a lot of money you know for this so like there's not going to be a lot of money i mean you could sell it for a ridiculous amount but most people don't sell it for that much so i wouldn't say that because you're going to be pricing yourself out of the market so i'm i'm not going to put any pricing on this you can put a pricing on this if it's something that you know you create if it's like an image like a really specific image to your community and you want people to be able to buy it or sell it that's going to be something that you can do i'm going to put this for free because i just want people to uh get this so you can then of course i can do secret i can put deactivated or i can put public so i'm gonna put publish and then of course you can see there it is so of course i could put pricing on that but i just want to you know give that up and of course instantly people can buy this now of course with the images as well what you also do want to do is you always want to make sure as well so yeah you can see the model is right here and already it has four views i'm not sure how it has four views maybe some people are just looking but this is why i said you know it's important to you know look at the file size and have as many file sizes as you can you can see right there i would argue that you probably do want to change the names of these because you know it doesn't really look good that you're uploading ai generated models but i don't think it matters that much as long as you you know you have something that is worthwhile that people can have of course here's the model the model you know like they do people do get to see like the you know images there but what you can do as well is of course you can have some of the other images for example if you come over to tripo ai basically you just want to just come over to here and basically just screenshot several angles of the model so just screenshot this like this then just save this then just take another one of like uh you know for example the behind so just take one from the front and then another one from the behind then of course uh, another one from the immediate front then i'm going to go ahead and upload this so i'm just going to you know upload more images and i've now added these images here and I'm just going to go ahead and keep these. So let me just go ahead and just click next. It does take a while because the page does take a little bit while to load. And then, of course, there we go. And of course, there you can see. So now you can see that the image is there. You can see the 3D models there. Um, and yeah, it, this is pretty simple. People can, um, 
you know, have this, they can use this, they can do what they want with this. Like I said before, our description is there. Um, it shows relevant other similar products. And that is exactly how you do this step by step, guys. So it's a pretty easy side hustle for those of you who don't have that much, you know, know how in terms of selling 3D models. But I think that this is something really good. Of course, you can get really creative with the types of things that you do create. But like I said before, if you're someone who actually enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out my AI Earners Academy. This is where over 100 people are using my templates, prompts and strategies to build passive income streams. In this private community, I actually upload various different methods to make money online. And these specific videos, I upload around two weeks early so that my private community members can actually access the tools, resources, and guides way before the public gets to try them out. If that's something that interests you, don't forget to click the link in the description.